Welcome, Results Warriors and friends. I'm Coach Melanie here at Results Fitness. Thank you so much for joining me for this body weight workout today. For all you'll need is your towel and your bottle of water. And your body, of course. Also, you can feel free to add weights to any of these moves. If you have some weights at home, grab them, bring them nearby. You can add weights to any of these movements as needed. All right, you ready to get warmed up? I'm ready to get warmed up. Let's make our way down to the ground. We're gonna start off with some Frogger rock back. So go ahead and separate your knees nice and wide, slide your hips straight back, and then drive your hips all the way forward. So we're prying open those inner hips and thighs with a little up, sliding straight back, and then driving forward. Full hip extension, bring it back. Ooh, I'm a little sore at home, how about you guys? Let's get two more of these. And we are good there. Go ahead and make your way up. Keeping your left knee down, you'll step your right foot forward. So ground down through that right foot. From here, slide forward into that front knee, getting that nice stretch through your quadricep on the left side, and then come back. So little dips. Go forward, really get that nice stretch through the left quad. Drive back up. Staying on this side, I'll tell you when to switch. Nice big exhale as you sink down and forward. One more on this side, and then we'll switch it up. Go ahead and bring your right knee down, step your left foot forward, ground that foot down into the ground. Slide forward, bending into that front knee. Nice stretch for the right quadricep. Come back. Nice big exhale. Drive back up. Getting that nice opening now through those hips, hip flexors. Let's get one more on this side. And then go ahead and make your way to a tabletop. Plant your hands. Push your hips up and back for a down dog, making your body into an upside down V. And then from here, go ahead and step your right foot forward to the outside of your right hand. Drop your back knee for a groiner. Sink your hips low. Lift your heart up. And then from here, reach your right arm all the way up towards the ceiling for that T rotation and bring it back down. Nice big exhale as you rotate through that thoracic spine in the middle of your back. Come right back down. Staying on this side. Yeah, using that exhale to maybe get a little more rotation, a little more opening in that shoulder. One more on this side. Then go ahead and step back to that down dog, hips up and back. Step your left foot forward to the outside of your left hand, drop your right knee. Sink your hips down, lift your heart up, and then reach your left arm up towards the ceiling, and come back down. So not only are we getting that stretch through the hip and your glute, I know I am, we're also getting that stretch through your mid-back and your shoulder on that left side. Let's get one more on this side at home. And then go ahead and plant that hand, pick up your back knee, step back to your downward facing dog, and then walk your hands back towards your feet for an inchworm, keeping your legs relatively straight, hang out back there for a moment, and then walk yourself back out to your high plank. Keep those legs straight, walk your hands back towards your feet, little hamstring stretch, walk back out to your high plank. Let's get one more here after this one. And then go ahead and stand all the way up when you make your way back to your feet. We got some single leg RDLs. So grounding down through your right foot, slide your left hip back, reach your left arm forward, stand back up, place your left foot down, 
Slide your right arm forward, right leg back. Drive up. This is a little too much. You can do a kickstand here, keeping those toes down on the ground. Sliding those hips straight back, driving your butt forward. So you're getting that full hip extension either way on that standing leg. Let's get one more on each side. And we are good there. Now we're gonna get that heart rate up. We're gonna go right into some butt kickers. So bringing your heel up towards your butt, working your arms, working your legs. If you're not running it out, you're marching it out. Really getting that heel all the way up towards your butt cheek. So you're either here or you're running. And let's go into high knees now. Bring those knees up to hip height. You're either running it out here or marching it out. Either one of those is fine. Just keep those legs moving, get that heart rate going. Five more seconds, stay with me. Three, two, one, all right. Last move of our warm up, which is crucial because we're gonna be doing this move in the workout. We got some break dancers here. Making sure everything's out of your way. Coming down to your bare plank. Shoulders locked in over wrists. Lift your knees up two inches from the ground. Maintaining this position first. Kicking your left leg through the right side of your body. Right hand touches your left shoulder. Come back to the middle. Kick your right leg through the left side. Touch your right shoulder with your left hand. Resetting each time. If the break dancer move is not good for your body for whatever reason, hold that bare plank. Reach your right arm forward. Come back down. Reach your left arm forward. Locking in there. Either one of those moves. Let's get one more each way. And we are good to go at home. Grab some water and I'll explain our first round of exercises. We have three rounds of 30 to 40 seconds of movement of each one of these exercises. So first up, we have a squat and an alternating knee lift. I'll show you this way and then I'll show you the side view. So you're gonna squat down here, keeping tension on the outer edges of your feet. As you come up, lift your left knee up into your chest, squat back down, lift your right knee up towards your chest. Squat, lift a knee, come back down, lift a knee. So side view here, squatting down, keeping tension on the outer edges of the feet, driving up. So alternating right and left with your legs here. After that, we got those break dancers. So just like we did for the warm up, holding that bare plank, shoulders locked in over wrists, knees two inches from the ground, kick your left leg through the right side, come back to the middle, reset, right leg through the left side. If you're not comfortable with the break dancers, hold that bare plank, reach an arm forward, bring it down, left arm comes forward. You can always drop your knees here too, really squeezing that core as you reach an arm forward. Either one of those options. Last but not least, we got some single leg bridges. We'll do half on one side. When I tell you to switch, you'll go right to the other side. So making your way down onto your back, starting with your right heel digging down in the ground, left knee's gonna pull in, driving through your right heel, full hip extension, tapping back down. Little two to three second pause at the top, coming back down. You wanna make it harder? Lift your arms up towards the ceiling. I'll say switch to the other side. You'll bring that left knee and heel down, right knee in, drive all the way up. If this is too much for your back for whatever reason, feel free to keep both heels down, maintaining that bridge, doing a double leg bridge the whole time instead. All right at home, are we ready to go? Yes, of course we are ready to go. We're gonna get going here in about 10 seconds starting with that squat and alternating knee lift. Here we go, three, two, one. Squat down, hug your left knee up. Squat down, hug your right knee up. Getting down nice and low into that squat. Again, I'll show you this way. Pull up, squat down, pull up. Yes, getting sweaty already. Pull it up. Come on, we got 10 more seconds here. You can do it. Three, 
Three, two, one. Nice work. Make your way down to the ground. Break dancers. Coming at you here. In three, two, one. Lift those knees two inches from the ground. Left leg kicks through the right side. Touch your left shoulder. Come back. Right leg through the left side. Back to the middle. Alternating right and left here. Or holding that bare plank. Reach your left arm forward. Come back down. Reach your right arm forward. Each one of those options are great. Stay with him. We got 10 more seconds. We got three, two, one. Nice work. Make your way to your back. Single leg uh, bridges. I'll tell you when to switch sides. Three, two, one. Right heel down, left knee is up. Squeeze your right butt cheek at the top. Really get that full hip extension. Oh yeah, hurts so good. Come on, we got five more seconds on this side. Three, two, one. Switch sides, left heel down, right knee in. Drive up. Nice big exhale as you drive up to the top. Really keeping that glute firing the whole time. Come on, five more seconds. Three, two, one. Nice job at home. That's the end of round one. We got two more rounds to go. Getting ready to go here in about another 10 seconds with those squats and alternating knee lifts. All right, here we go. You ready? I'm ready. Three, two, one. Squat down. Pick up that knee. Squat down, alternate to the other side. Yeah, big exhale as you pull that knee up and across. Get those booties low on those squats. Come on, we got 15 seconds. Stay with me at home. Woo, feeling that. We got three, two, one. All right, shake it off. Break dancers. Make your way down to that bare plank. We got five seconds here. Nice deep breaths in your nose, out your mouth. And let's do it. If you want to make it saucy, touch your toes as you pull that leg through. If you have the range of motion and the flexibility, go ahead and touch those toes. Keep those knees low. Don't let those hips creep up. Stay with me at home. We're already over halfway. We got three, two, one. Nice work. Make your way to your back. Single leg glute bridges. Starting off with that right heel down, left knee hugging in, and let's do it. Dig that right heel down. Squeeze your butt at the top, tap back down. Staying all on this side for now. And I'll tell you when to switch. Yes, dig it down. Full hip extension. We got three, two, one. Switch it up. Left heel down, right knee in. Go right into it. Dig deep here, folks. You got this. Woo, come on. Stay with me. We got three, two, one. Nice work, folks. All right, we got one round to go. Make your way back up to your feet. Shake it off a little bit. 10 seconds, we start again with that squat and alternating knee lift. All right, here we go. Three, two, one. Let's do it. Squat down, lift your knee up. Squat down, lift it up and across. Keep tension on the outer edges of the feet in that squat. Sitting down, driving up. Oh yeah. Come on, stay with me at home. We got 15 seconds. Three, two, one. All right, make your 
way down to the ground, break dancers. Find that bare plank, lock your shoulders in over your wrists, lift your knees up, and let's do it. Remember, you can always touch those toes if you have the flexibility to do so. Or you can hold that bare plank and do those arm reaches instead. Either way, you're always coming back to that bare plank. Come on, we're halfway there. Ten seconds. Stay with me at home. Three, two, one. Nice job. Make your way to your back. Single leg glute bridges. Right heel down, left knee in. And let's go, right side, drive up, come back down. Yes, squeeze your butt at the top. Nice big exhale as you drive those hips up, little pause at the top. We're halfway there on this side, stay with me. Come on, stay with me. Ten more seconds. Oh, it's burning back there. We got three, two, one. Switch sides. Left heel stays down, right knee drives up. Dig that left heel down. Remember, this is too much for your back. Both heels down, double leg glute bridge. Either way. Getting that full hip extension at the top. We're over halfway there on this side. Oh, yeah. Ten more seconds. We got three, two, one. Nice job at home. All right, grab some water, towel off a little bit, and I'll take you through our next round of exercises. We have three rounds again <clears throat> to do these three exercises. So first up, we have our yoga push-up. So what you'll do here is, you'll find your way to a downward facing dog. So the full yoga push-up is to come down in between your hands, push up, push back to downward facing dog. So elbows are going out, you're skimming low, driving up to that high plank, pushing your hips up and back. If that bothers your shoulders for whatever reason, you'll find your down dog. Push yourself forward to your high plank. You can throw in a push up here. Push up, push your hips up and back to down dog. So either one of those options, driving forward, chest down in between hands, driving up, pushing your hips up and back to that down dog. You can also drop your knees here for that push up, come back up, downward facing dog. So you're throwing that down dog in each and every time. After that, you'll make your way to your back. We have a hollow hold and alternating toe taps. So, a couple of different options here. Make your way to your back. Hug your low ribs down towards your hips. Hollow hold. So the higher you have your legs, a little less stress. Lower, a little harder. Okay. So either way, <laughs> for me, sometimes I like to have my hands down. You don't have to keep them up overhead. It bothers your back. So here. You're gonna bring your hand up to touch your toes, bring it back down. Touch your toes, bring it back down. If this bothers your back for whatever reason, you can always have your palms down, sit your bottom on the back of your hands, extend your legs, bring a knee in, bring it back out, bring the other knee in. So one of those two options here. If it bothers your back, do the second option. Last but not least, you'll make your way up to your feet, we got our single leg RDLs, alternating, just like we did in the warm-up. So you'll start with your right foot down, left foot and left arm, left foot goes back, left arm goes forward. Drive forward, stand up, switch sides. Left foot down, drive your right leg back, right arm forward, stand all the way up, switch sides. Alternating, right and left here. If for whatever reason that's too much, you can do little kickstand RDLs here. So knees stay in alignment here. 
Slide your hips back towards the wall behind you. Drive forward, squeeze your butt. Switch sides. Slide your hips back, drive forward. So again, little side view. Knees always stay in alignment. Slide your hips back, squeeze your butt. Switch sides. Slide your hips back, squeeze your butt. You can add weight here if you'd like to. It's gonna be in that loaded hand, that leg that's loaded up. All right at home, are we ready to go? We got three rounds of this. Starting off with that yoga push up in about five seconds here. So making your way down to your downward facing dog in two, one, let's do it. Drive those hips up and back. Either swim your chest down in between your hands, push up here, back to that down dog, or come forward to high plank, push up, come right back up. I'm gonna do the modified version here just because the other version bothers my shoulders. So if you need the modification, look up here at me. I'm doing that. So hips go up and back for down dog. Slide forward to high plank. Chest down in between hands. Drive up. We got 10 more seconds to go here. Keep alternating between those two movements. We got three, two, one. Nice work. Make your way to your back. Hollow hold and alternating toe touches. So coming down into that hollow hold, and let's do it. Right hand touches your left toes, come back down. Left hand touches your right toes. Yeah, nice big exhale as you drive up. Remember, if this bothers your back, put your hands underneath, bring a knee in, bring your leg back out to meet the other. Come on, we got 10 more seconds here at home. Stay with me. I'm doing the modified version if you need it. We got three, two, one. Nice work. Make your way up to your feet. Alternating single leg RDFs. Starting with your right foot down. And two, one. Let's do it. Slide your left hip back, left arm forward. Drive up. Ooh, don't lose your balance. Put your left foot down. Slide your right foot back, right arm forward. Drive up, right foot goes down. Alternating right and left here. Working on that balance. Driving up, full hip extension. Really getting that hamstring to work here. We got 10 seconds to go. Stay with me at home. Woo, try to keep your right hip and right knee pointing down, whatever leg's going back. We got three, two, one. Nice work. All right. We got two rounds to go. Starting off with that yoga push up. Making your way down to your downward facing dog. We're getting ready to roll here in about five seconds. Make your way to down dog. Hips go up and back. And let's do it. You're either swimming your chest down in between your hands, pushing up to high plank, and back to your downward dog, or rolling to the toes. Push up, push back up, downward facing dog. Either way, you're getting that down dog in there. Taking your time on these movements, not allowing those hips to sag on that push up. We got 10 more seconds here at home. Stay with me. We got three, two, one. Nice job. Make your way to your back. Hollow hold, alternating toe touches. Coming at you here in two, one. Let's do it. Oh yeah, hold that hollow hold. Really squeeze those low ribs down, protecting through your low back. Come on, we're halfway there. more seconds. Oh, it's burning. Three, two, one. Nice work. Make your way up to your feet. Single leg already up. Coming at you here in three, two, 
One, slide your left hip back, left knee and left hip point down. Drive forward, stand up, left foot down. Right knee, right hip goes back. Drive up, alternating left and right here. Nice full extension. Remember, if this is too much, keep a knee down, little kickstand, drive up, switch legs. We got 10 seconds to go. Three, two, one. All right, at home, we got one round to go. Coming at you here in about 15 seconds. Starting off with that yoga push-up. Giving it all you got here. So adding in that push-up if you can. All right, make your way down to your downward facing dog. And here we go. Drive forward, one push-up, drive up. Back to that down dog. Drive forward, chest down in between hands, drive right back up. Come on at home, stay with me. It's the last round. We're already over halfway there. Last 10 seconds. Don't let those hips sag. Don't give up. Three, two, one. Nice work. Make your way to your back. Hollow hold and toe touches. Coming at you here in three, two, one, let's do it. How are we doing at home? You staying with me? Woo! Feeling that core working. We're halfway. Remember, you can always do the modification here. Bring the knee in, straighten it back out. We got 10 seconds to go. Three, two, one. Nice job. Make your way up to your feet. Single leg on all the RDLs, alternating. Woo! Get a little tongue tied. All right, right foot down, left foot's gonna go back, and let's do it. Try forward, full hip extension, switch sides. Working that hamstring. Already halfway there. Ten more seconds. Stay with me. Keep that hip and knee pointing down as you slide back. We got three, two, one. All right, at home. Are you ready for a finisher? Of course you are. Grab some water and I'll explain what we got going on. So we have 90 seconds of these two moves and your goal is to get as many reps of each as possible, okay? So first up, we have a push up to a T rotation. So making your way down to your high plank. So one push up here, you'll rotate on your feet Lift your left arm up towards the ceiling, drive your hips up, come back to that high plank, drive your hips up, open up the other way. So if you want to make this harder, do a push up each and every time you come back to your high plank. Add in that extra push up. You can always come to your knees too, do the push up, drive back up, open up to that T rotation. Really put, picking up your hips as you rotate open. So, as many reps as possible in 90 seconds. So keep count here, however you want to count it out. So one push up, two uh, T rotations is one rep, okay? After that, 90 seconds of basic body weight squats. So, sitting your butt down and back, driving back up. So as many reps as possible, doing regular body weight squats, keeping tension through the outer edges of your feet. So, 
trying to keep track in your head of your reps. All right, at home, we're getting ready to go here in about five seconds, starting off with that push up and T rotation. Two, one, let's do it. Push up, roll open, lift your left arm up, come back down, add in that extra push up if you want, rotate open to the other side. That's one. This is two. Yeah, stay with me at home. You can do it. Drive those hips up on that T rotation. Three. Four. Come on. We got less than a minute to go. Always remember you can drop those knees down if you need to. That's five. Six. Woo, come on. Push through it, you got this. No shame in dropping your knees down if you need to. Seven, we got less than 30 seconds. Eight, come on, stay with me. Nine, come on, let's try to do one more here at home. Three, two, one, nice work. All right, make your way up to your feet. 90 seconds of squats. Shake it off here. We're getting ready to go in 10 seconds. Deep breaths in your nose, out your mouth. All right, here we go. Three, two, one, let's do it. Six, come on. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Come on, if you smile, it makes it easier. I'm at 20, 21, 22. We got 50 seconds to go. Come on, stay with me. Get your butt down there. 40, come on.